somebody will come in and look around and say, are you the lawyer? I say, well, some say I am. <laughs> but uh, I hope that's good. Uh, so I'm going to give a little sort of a melange about law and hopefully get back to legal ethics and tell you what little I know about them and, and uh, hopefully some of the most important things, which are the ones you really have to know. Um, Abraham Lincoln gave the following piece of advice to an aspiring lawyer one day. He said, be honest in all events, and if in your judgment you cannot be an honest lawyer, resolve to be honest without being a lawyer and uh, choose some other occupation. So that was Abraham Lincoln's advice. Um, I was getting out of Campbell in 81, and one of the classes, I forget which year we had to take it, was ethics, and the dean taught it, Dean Davis, we called him the dancing machine, because he went back and forth the whole time he was teaching. Um, and uh, he was so, we were the third class there, the first class to finish the school, as far as having the full three classes. And they were super concerned back then that we be ethical lawyers. And they taught us and beat it into our heads and, and they even printed up bumper stickers that said, Honest as a Campbell Lawyer. And after about two disbarments, I think they stopped passing those things out. <laughs> they they hoped that they could create something new, but I'm not a believer in evolution. And I know how people are, and people have been that way, and people are going to be that way, and sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you get bad ones, sometimes good people do bad things. But um, in any case, um, that, that's the way law is. We're not claiming perfection, but uh, we're claiming uh, to do the best we can for hopefully ourselves and our clients and the system, and we'll get to that shortly. Chapter 84 of the North Carolina General Statutes deals with the practice of law and attorneys. And I looked into this. Is, this contains Chapter 84. It has a bunch more chapters. This is the current law, and it goes on for... 40 to 50 pages in that book. I went back to my 1837 version. It's two pages in that book. But one of the statutes in the, night, in the current statute book is one of the ones in 1837, word for word, and it made reference back to 1743. So it, it goes back a long way, and it, there's a lot of history on it, but um, I'm not going to get super into that tonight. Um, we are governed by the North Carolina State Bar. Uh, judges, on the other hand, are also governed by the North Carolina State Bar, but a lot of the things that we deal with, they don't have to deal with. They have their own set. So if you practice law, you have uh, responsibility, professional responsibility in one form, and then they have a sort of judicial conduct, or is that what it's called? That uh, they are, once they change, put on the black road, they have a different set of rules that are tailored to the things that they do and not the things that we do anymore. So the, the North Carolina State Bar is the official government agency. It's, it's set up under Chapter 84 and established there uh, to regulate the practice of law by lawyers and uh, by non-lawyers to regulate that too, which so you can't do it. To make it a crime, that's in Chapter 14 probably too, but anyway. We also have voluntary organizations for lawyers to join, such as the North Carolina Bar Association, but I need for you to keep in mind, and if you ever need this information that's good for a cocktail party or something, uh, you don't have to, if you're a lawyer, you don't have to be a member of the North Carolina Bar Association, but you have to be a member of the North Carolina State Bar. And a lot of people get those two organizations confused, and uh, you think about one and not think about the other. Um, the uh, State Bar is governed by 55 person or let's say 55 lawyers are members of the State Bar Council, and that's how that organization is organized. And then there are three more who are non-lawyers from all over the state who are, are chosen by the governor and put on. The 55 are chosen from the judicial districts. We are 6A judicial district, not judicial district 6A, but 6A judicial district. And uh, we were uh, split off from 6th district, which was Hertford and... Um, Bertie in Northampton, and so we had a problem we had to take care of politically some 20 years ago thereabouts, and we took care of it. And uh, so we're on our own now, Halifax County is on our own, and each district acts on its own and meets on its own once a year, and uh, we used to get together and drink and things like that, and they told us we couldn't do that, so we had to have our own meetings, and uh, they're very sober meetings, and nobody attend. And <laughs>